In my opinion, one of the greatest phones, if not the best phone of 2017, was the Google Pixel 2 and 2 XL. Now, if you somehow don't know what the Google Pixel 2 XL is, it's Google's second flagship phone that like, was succeeding the Google Pixel 1, and it was, it's probably still now one of the best, it has one of the best cameras in a smartphone, and it's arguably one of the best phones of 2017, and it's still a very, very great flagship in 2018. However, that was last year, and now it's 2018, so the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL rumors have been starting to appear. However, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I just personally want to see out of the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL. Keep in mind that these are my opinions, and if you have your own opinions, then please leave them in the comments. But anyways, let's just get into this. So I'm not expecting a lot out of the Pixel 3 XL. At least all I'm hoping for is just a better camera, just something that'll compete with the new flagships and bring Google back to the top of the DxO mark, even though the Huawei P20 may not look as great as the Pixel 2 XL in other people's opinions. The original Pixel had one of the best cameras of 2016, and the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL followed up that trend with an amazing camera. So I think that the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL are going to keep that trend going. And I think that Google's going to nail that as always. I feel like that the Pixel 3's camera is going to be probably one of the best, if not the best camera of 2018. Obviously in the specs department, we're probably going to see something like a Snapdragon 845. So probably just another minor upgrade over last year's. And the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL we're already really fast, so hopefully Google will keep that trend going with a brand new octa-core Snapdragon 845. I almost said 835 there. Now here's something I know a lot of people are going to be interested in, that notch. More specifically, will there be a notch on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL? I don't think so, and the main reason for that is because Google has really been competitive with Apple. I know that they said that, oh, we're gonna keep the headphone jack, then remove it from the Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel 2. But still, I feel like Google's not gonna keep going with a trend that Apple started. I feel like Google's more of a trend setter than a trend follower, even though they did remove the headphone jack. Otherwise, I feel like the display is probably gonna be a minimal upgrade over last year. However, I do think that Google's gonna improve how the Pixel 3 XL's display is gonna look because it didn't look that great on the Pixel 2 XL mainly just because the colors were offset and the viewing angles were not that great. I don't think that there's going to be Face ID though or something like that, just because, like I said before, Google does not really want to, at least what I think personally, they don't really want to follow on trends that Apple started. I feel like, like I said, Google's not all about that. So I don't think that we're going to see Face ID or something like that. We might see some form of it in a different way, but I don't feel like it's going to be the conventional, you know, you have a phone, you point to your face and it unlocks type of thing. Alright, so pricing. So I feel like Google should leave the Pixel 3, the standard edition, at the price that the Pixel 2, just the standard Pixel 2, was at, around that $600 price point. I feel like that's a very good price for what you're getting. However, for the Google Pixel 3 XL, I would actually think that Google should probably drop the price at around $50 to $100 because the original Pixel 2 XL didn't really sell that well. And being honest, most Pixel phones haven't sold the greatest. However, I just, I feel like that one of the big things that really hurt the original Pixel 2 XL is that the price was pretty high, around 850 bucks for the Pixel 2 XL. So I feel like Google should drop that down to maybe 700, 750. Okay, so that's what I think Google should add to the Pixel 3 and 3 XL. Now those are my opinions, and if you have your own opinions, again, please leave them in the comments. And if you do want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And I hope you enjoy this video, and see you.